Hi guys, Deb from Aussie Mail here. If you're new to our channel, welcome. And if you've been here a couple of times before, welcome back. We're really pleased to have you here. So the tutorial I'm going to show you today is our captive Byzantine bracelet tutorial. Um, it's a Byzantine with a bit of a twist. In fact, it's a meshing of two different weaves together. Um, nice easy weave with a really effective look. Anyway, I'm sure you guys will enjoy it, so let's get into it. So here is a sample piece of the bracelet that I will be doing today in the tutorial. So as you can see, it's a mixture of Byzantine units with some captured bead units in there. Okay, so to make this bracelet, which is approximately 20 centimeters in length or eight inches, you'll need the following components. So we're using a brown aluminium in 16 gauge AWG, which is 1.2 millimeter diameter wire. And we're using two ring sizes. So the first to make the Byzantine pieces is 4.25 millimeter ID rings. And you'll need about 96 of these. The second size that makes up the captured bead units are 6.25 millimeter ID and you'll need about 40 of those. Um, the beads are 6 mil uh, check glass and you'll need about 10 of those beads. You'll also of course need some sort of clasp attachment. We're using our stainless steel lobster clasp uh, 002 which is about 11 millimeters in length. Um, and of course you'll also need two pairs of smooth jawed pliers no teeth in them these ones come from our zuron range of course this is our short nosed and our chisel nose pliers okay so to start this bracelet off i'm going to um, do something which i normally don't do which is do the clasp attachment first but this just enables us to have something to hold on to if we do it this way. So picking up your lobster clasp, thread it onto uh, one of your opened rings. Close that up. So this is the smaller size, okay, uh, the 4.25 millimeter. And then we're going to take two more rings of our small rings and add that to the ring that we just added to the clasp. Okay, so to start with we've got our lobster clasp, a single ring and then a double small ring. Then we're going to take up one of our larger rings, the 6.25 millimeter rings, and we're going to feed that through the end pair of small rings close it up and we're just going to repeat that with a second ring okay and then we're going to add another pair of large rings to the rings that we just put in there okay so just like that And one more. Okay. So now that you've placed your four large rings, we're going to make kind of a little box with them. So we hold on to them so that we can see just that little box that we've got going on there. We're going to pop our bead into there. And then we're going to move our rings so that we can close them over that bead. Now, in order to do that, you need to make sure that these rings are sitting on the outside of the small rings. You won't be able to close those rings up next to each other if they're sitting inside those small rings. So if you're having difficulty doing that, closing them, bringing them together, make sure you have a look down here and make sure that your large rings, your second pair of large rings are sitting outside of those small rings that are there. So once you've got those in place, just hold them there and pick up one of your small rings and then feed your small ring through both of those large rings on the end to close it all up and keep it safe 
So that locks your bead into place and we're going to double that up because we're going to start making Byzantine now and as you know with Byzantine you generally always work in pairs. Alright so we've got two rings and we're going to add two more And then once you've got those two rings in place, normally with Byzantine you work in threes, but because of the structure of this, we're going to go two rings and then we're going to flip, we're going to do our flip that we normally do in Byzantine, one on each side, taking them all the way back so that when we move those top rings apart, we can see those rings there that we flipped and we can see that gap that's going straight through there. That's where we're going to place our next small ring, so take up an open small ring, feed it straight through that gap, locks it all in place for us. Okay, so it looks like that. And then we're going to add a second ring through that same space so that we've doubled it up there. Okay, so there's the first half of our Byzantine unit. And we're gonna go ahead and finish the second half. So in order to do that, we need to place two more pairs of rings. Okay, so there's one pair. And now a second pair of rings. Okay, and then once we've got three pairs of rings in place, we're going to do what we did before. We're going to fold back our top pair of rings so that we've got one ring sitting either side of our chain, taking them all the way back and squeezing them against our chain, making sure we open up these two top rings here so we can see the rings that we just flipped back and we can see that space that's there. And that's where we're going to put our next ring, which this time is going to be a large ring. So taking up one of our large rings, we feed that straight through that space there like that. Okay, you can see that. Close it up. Okay, and we're going to repeat with a second large ring through that same space. Okay. And then we're going to add because we're going to do our bead capture. So we finished up the Byzantine unit and now we're going to do the bead capture. So we need another pair of large rings just there. So we add that to the end of our bracelet. And one more. Okay, so we've got our four large rings now on our bracelet. We're going to hold on to the Byzantine section and sort of form, open these up so they form a little bit of a box. And in there, we're going to pop one of our beads and then we're going to bring this ring up. So I'll show you here. You can see there that this ring here is actually caught in, in those small rings that are in the bottom there. We need to wriggle that ring around so that it pops out so that those both rings both sit either side of the small rings that are in there and that will enable us to enjoy, uh, join those rings up and then we just want to hold those in place by going straight through there with a small ring okay so there's one two And there we've finished our second capture. So we've got two captures and one completed Byzantine unit in place so far. So now we're just going to make up another section of Byzantine. So we're going to add another pair of jump rings. And then once we've added that pair of jump rings, 
we're going to fold the end pair back again separating this top two rings so we can see the space there of the rings that we've just folded back and taking up a small ring feeding it straight through that space there in between the V so that we can capture those rings into place close it up okay and then we'll repeat with a second small ring going through the same space so again picking up a small ring popping it through the middle there and closing it up okay so there's the first half of our second Byzantine unit so we just continue on as you normally would to make Byzantine so we need three pairs of rings so we've got one pair I'm working on the second pair and then we just need one more last one so there you see we've got our three pairs of rings as you would to do a standard Byzantine piece so we're going to hold on to that flip those rings either side of our piece the end ones fold them all the way back so that we can capture them against our chain and then just carefully moving those top rings apart we're looking for that space there in between where we can hook our next rings and our next rings will be part of the capture so they're the large rings so we're going to take up a, a large ring swoop it through there pick up those two rings that we just folded back okay close that up take up the next large ring and put it through the same path okay through the same path just there so that we've now got two large rings and in order to complete the capture of course we need four large rings in place so we're going to add two more just on the end so we've got our short chain of two two large rings okay and then holding on to the Byzantine section of our bracelet we're just going to open these rings up so that they form a little bit of a little bit of a box there take our next bead pop it in there okay make sure that our rings are positioned correctly so that we can bring them together just like that and then of course we just continue as we have been making up the Byzantine unit and then the captured unit so you just keep doing that until you reach the end of your bracelet and then to finish off your bracelet I'll just show you with the sample piece I finished off with a capture and then of course the two rings through the capture as you normally would and then one more ring for you to close your clasp onto and that's it that's how you make our captive Byzantine bracelet Alright guys, well that's it. That's our tutorial for today. Really hope you enjoyed it and that uh, you go on to make lots of um, Byzantine captive bracelets of your own. If you did enjoy the tutorial today, how about giving us a thumbs up here or leaving us a comment below or even sharing our video. And if you haven't already, think about subscribing to our channel, hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell as well so that you'll get all notifications every time we upload a new video. So um, if you want us to have a look at what you've done, we'd really love to see that. So think about tagging us on Instagram or um, maybe putting your photo up on our Facebook wall. We'd love to see what you guys are up to. Uh, don't forget to check out our website uh, for components to make this bracelet. And um, I hope you guys had a really great time today and that we'll see you again sometime in the future. All right. Bye.